Hey guys, this is the reading for the week of July 20th to July 27th. There we go. So there was the first supermoon about last weekend, and um, it was a huge thing. A lot of people felt shifts. There were a lot of conflicts being discussed, things being brought to the surface. Definitely saw it and sensed it uh, with people and myself. So for this week, I thought we'd do saints and angels. Somehow they jumped out and they said, we're going to show them optimism. So we'll get to them. The first part of the week is stress management. Something will stress you or you things feel so overwhelming with the fact that we have three super moons. There's going to be another moon in August and then September. So that means big changes. This also follows with the year reading that I did earlier in the year back in December. So Manage your stress. Exercise, diet, meditation. Keep yourself surrounded with loving people or loving music. You know, I know some people like to blast their music. Maybe you want to go a little softer on yourself now. You may not be able to take it. Be brave. Someone who you're having a conflict with who seems maybe intimidating, maybe you're just getting upset with them and they are getting upset with you, maybe somehow you're scaring each other, this person will actually become your ally. This feels like a best friend slash love life issue, but you see I just covered it all with best friend. But um, So this could be a friendship thing or it could be that. Now for people who are dealing with this with jobs or like maybe with their kids, maybe their kids are even, I actually thought about this, your kid may be not listening or may be trying to intimidate you because of the mistakes you've made or they discover something in your past. Now is the time to stand strong and set them straight is the message I'm getting. So, but be patient because that takes some time and the person is more of your ally than you realize. Safe travel. There's a lot of people visiting and doing short little trips and then doing across the country trips. Um, you are having safe travel. I think this is coming up because we found out about Malaysia and the Russia um, incident. What, I, what I've heard recently, which I didn't know, is that this plane or this airline decided to fly into an unsafe area, which they should not have done to save money. And now we're facing this issue with all these people dead and missing, and so that's very heartbreaking. So my prayers and my light is going out to that situation, but you'll be safe, is my point. You'll, I know people are driving faster. You'll be safe if you keep calling on God and the angels and all the spiritual beings that you believe in to keep you safe. With Lord Raphael, he practically screamed out from the, um, I have this little bookcase full of decks. He practically was like, okay, you've got to show me this week. This came out, meditation. With all the stuff that's going on, the way for you to heal and kind of transform situations and then also like get the, the strength and the, in, the knowledge to know what to do. Meditate, people. Dear Archangel Raphael, please meditate with me and guide my mind and body to focus on health Peace, health, and wellness. What a wonderful prayer. This is like one I should do every day with this card, honestly. Um, <clears throat> the yes card came out. A big thing you've been waiting for. Now, this could be love life, health, or career, because those all three areas are kind of in flux for people, spiritual people, and we're kind of trying to manifest and heal certain things. Something wonderful comes through. You hear from the person you need to, you find the health resource, you get the doctor's appointment, you get the job proposal that you've been trying to get for and you're networking and you're trying to make things move. You finally manage to impress the right people. This is a yes, people. So this is a good sign. That's in the beginning of the week. The end of the week was an interesting message. Do more research. So if you got not a strong yes, if maybe you got the yes and you thought it was for something and it doesn't work, this card jumped out twice. I tried to put it back and they were like, mm, mm Dear God and Archangel Raphael, thank you for clearly and gently leading me to the information that I need to know for my well-being. Please give me the courage to be assertive as I take charge of my health care needs. Do more research. Maybe you, there's just more stuff out there that you need to find to help you with what you're creating or what you're wanting to have happen. You know, find out. This might be like a second opinion. Let's say you get a reading and you feel like it's completely off or you feel like the person's giving you bad feedback. Get Do some more research. Talk to someone else. Wait a while. Save your money. And either get some cards and do it yourself or get someone else to sort of give you like a little mini reading or then get another second opinion from like somebody on a practical matter. Like your building's not fixed. There's something needs to be fixed. First, first, first uh, estimate doesn't feel right. 
go for a second one. Do more research. And then recovery. There has been what feels like people emotionally going through things. I'm seeing people crying and they're, they're lifting out energy through their heart space. As I talk about this, there's a recovery thing. Like, it, yes, there's been intense energy and they know that that stresses us and scares us in some ways. Don't be so scared, is my point, because you'll recover. Things, even if you, there wasn't a clearing of, you know, maybe some feelings or issues that need to be discussed and it didn't go well so well, things will improve. You know, that's what I'm hearing. Those relationships will repair. As I told you, things move in cycles. And I have a little story at the end of this. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for holding my hand through a recovery upon the path of radiant health. So it'll improve much like you think. Now, here's my short little story. I know so many people... There were two people I was specifically staying back from because things were tense and I wasn't sure how to say certain things, even though I said it once to someone else in one on um, person one, it was not being heard, trust me. And so I, I stepped back, I just prayed and I asked for a miracle. I asked for divine intervention, I really surrendered. But I also meant staying away, which was very uncomfortable. While that first explosion happened, I had a misunderstanding with a friend, which doesn't shock me. She needs to get over it. But these other two people, I ran into them and it was like things were back to normal. I, I insisted on being civil and being warm because I knew one of them was very alienated and the other person was going through a tough time. And it worked. So my point is, when you are having problems with people and you think it's so much easier to get rid of them, yeah, but how many times can you get rid of people? So see whether or not you need to take a different approach and maybe give them some time. Take a step back and focus your energies on other people in your life and then come back to them. Because what God will do, much like what happened to me, is you'll run into these people and then they'll suddenly see things differently and they're able to move past whatever the hurt was. Okay, guys, here's the, the prayer for the week. Uh, dear God and angels and all the spiritual beings, please help us heal and manifest a wonderful life for us and a wonderful week. And help us go through these transitions smoothly and easily and surround us with pink and blue light so that we are buffeted as we move along. Okay, guys, have a wonderful two weeks and I will see you in two weeks.